the gate. Away and running. Good speed today from Latosh and Stylish Anna. They break one, two. Red Jag is right there, hustle along with seven and a half for longs to go. And Bootsy's Merlot stays glued towards the rail while my JoJo goes four paths deep as they go around this first turn. So two of them go at it hot and heavy here. Stylish Anna and Red Jag pick up the pace past the six and a half for long point. And Stylish Anna has the lead tilted in her favor today and shows the way a length and a half. Red Jag is on hold in that second place position and Latash is parked off the rail but is headed by Bootsy's Merlot in a race that sees no pace and my Jojo's last of all. The first for long, past the three for long point, went to Stylish Anna and shows the way by almost two with four and a half for longs to go, but Red Jag is right there getting closer in second without having to be asked. Bootsy's Merlot is a ground saving third. Latash was reluctant to load and is in that fourth place position and my Jojo still is last of five. They turn again and Stylish Anna is still continuing Continues to make play. Shows the lead by a length and a half. Red Jag has all of her chips in the pot in second. Now Latosh is closing in but still at this one pace. And Bootsy's Merlot looms a winning threat. And my Jojo starts to mount a bit. A new leader. Bootsy's Merlot scrapes paint and takes over the lead. Over a weakening style of Shanna. And being... A distant last now is the favorite Latash. They're homeward bound, and Bootsy's Merlot now kicks away. Now moving up in the second is my JoJo, and Stylish Anna has no more to give, and Red Jag's a stagnant fourth. Bootsy's Merlot, bet down at four to five when everything was said and done, has won it. Over my JoJo, Stylish Anna, Red Jag, and Latash. Away and running. A bit of a tangled start for Bad Ombre. Good beat for Sydney's bid today. Duke of Dooley's right there too, but Let It Rightness gets in front of the both of them as they go around this paddock grove turn. Bad Henry came away a settled fourth. Deep on the track is Bad Ombre, who now grabs that last place position as Sete Stelle passes that rival. Midpoint of the first turn, and Let It Rightness from that outside draw shows the way, and that lead is down to only one one length. Chasing on the outside in second is Duke of Dooley and Sydney's bid stays parked at the paint in third. Bad Henry the Grey is traveling well enough in that fourth place position. Sete Stelle under a loose rein travels in fifth and has had a wide trip and a headstrong bad hombre is last of all. So they emerge past the trees and let it ride as controls things today past the four and a half and the lead still that one tight length. Duke of Dooley hounds the speed and Sydney's bid has a real opening but can't get through at the moment and Bad Henry's coming alive while in hand. Now in fifth is Bad Hombre, now relaxing, and set taste LA's drop to the tail. Around the far turn, Let It Rightness continues the lead, and slowly slips away by a length and a quarter, but Bad Henry's trying to pounce when it counts in second, and Sydney's bid stays at the rail and comes under a ride. Jamie takes a look back, and Bad Henry sees no threats whatsoever. Let It Rightness went too quick too early, and Sydney's bid is well off the fence. Three sixteenths to go. Bad Henry has a sizable lead. Sydney's bid now claims second. Let It Rightness has no more to give. Duke of Dooley battles on for fourth, but here's the 16th poll. Bad Henry's nicely clear, and Jamie Rodriguez has been hot the last three cards. Bad Henry at 9 to 5 has won it. Over Sydney's bid, Bad Ombre and Duke of Dooley.
away and running. Good inside speed from Meaty Fast Flower. There goes Tachita on the far outside. And also in the thick of it, too, is Golden Boss Lady. And it's a compact fill as they scatter like marbles. Entering the first turn, and Meaty Fast Flower is now passed by I'm a Silver Lady and Golden Boss Lady. Comes away in third. Lucky Honey stays towards the rail to save a lot of ground. And Lady Gabrielle had a check hard. Wicked Kittens looping up on the far outside. And Tertita's right there, too. And it's a close Nick group with five and a half for longs to go. So I'm a Silver Lady gets clear of the rest of them. It had to work to get there and shows the way by one tight length. Wicked Kitten is right there applying that token pace pressure. And Meaty Flash Flower now rides that rail in third. Golden Boss Lady's a tracking for Chachita's wide on both turns. Passing the half mall pole, Lucky Honey stays at the rail. And Lady Gabrielle's last of all. And there goes Wicked Kitten to apply that pace pressure and kicks for the money. Wicked Kitten lids by one. Chachita takes up the chase in second. I'm a Silver Lady. Needs to do a little bit better in third. Meet T Fast Flower now picks off that rival and here's the quarter pole. Wicked Kitten's the first one to turn and has a one length lead to hold. Chachita's giving game chase in second. Meet T Fast Flower's now closing in with power and pace. These are the two principals past the 316th pole. Wicked Kitten's a leg weary leader. Meet T Fast Flower now tries to take the lead and kicks for the money and now has an unassailable lead at three to one. They're finishing all over the place but Meet T Fast Flower is nice Nice and clear, Meaty Fast Flower has won it over Wicked Kitten, Lucky Honey, and Chachita. Away and running. Slow to go is Mama Band Me. Good speed today from Hendrickson and Big Big Star. Those are the first two to link up with the course proper. And inbound glides up to the both of them on the far outside. Phobia rides the rail and Sabi's right there in the thick of it too. Those are the first division. The second division is headed by Aloha Man who tracks in sixth. Fight no more forever is a little wide in that seventh place position, and now Cessnola is even wider than that. Second last is the late closing strides of Financial District, and last of all is the slow start for Mama Ban Me. Up and around the first turn they go. Big, big stars on the outside of Hendrickson, and there's no real pace on here to the fourth of the day. And those two set the tone past the five. Hendrickson's the leader. Big, big stars are tracking second, and up the inside, Phobia's right there to position the challenge, and inbounds deeper on the track now gets third. On the outside, fight no more forever. The gray picks off Sabi for that fifth place position. Aloha Man comes under a hustling ride, not responding. Cessnola tries to pass that rival. Financial District trails with Mama Ban Me. Around the second turn with three furlongs to go. Hendrickson still calls the shots. Big Big Star has been the thorn in that runner's side. Inbound is right there in a position to challenge. Phobia is starting to try to wagon weave on through. And now on the outside, fight no more forever. Chases Sabi. Financial District is last. They're homeward bound now and Hendrickson has an onslaught of challengers today and the first one to make that move is Fight No More Forever on the far outside. Sabi desperately looking for the split. Phobia ducks towards the rail. Big Big Star a frantic finish brewing here. Hendrickson led but there goes Sabi and Sabi has won it. It's close for a second between Hendrickson and Big Big Star. Phobia was fourth.
away and running. Slow to go is Fleeting Ember and Tis Race Day. Brilliant speed from Bold Baby today. But three of them line up to Chaser Speed. And Tis Race Day takes second away in front of Fleeting Ember. And Snow Lake is right there too, so the pace is swift. And Bold Baby has the lead. It's a nice and relaxed pace for her today. And shows the way by a length and a quarter. Fleeting Ember gets a pop of the crop to stay with the solo speed in second. And on the outside, Snow Lake shares third with Tis Race Day. Three and a half for longs to go. And it's Bold Baby who controls this affair and leads by one. Chasing in second is Fleeting Ember. Deep on the track is Snow Lake trying to slowly bridge that gap. And Tis Race Day is trying to do the same thing, but Bold Baby's in hand and in command. Mena has to take a look back and sees a three-length lead over Tis Race Day at the top of the stretch. The even money favorite leads. Bold Baby leads by two. Tis Race Day trying to get closer while the ground saving second. Snow Lake is starting to close with power and pace. These are the three with an eighth of a mile to go. And Snow Lake tries to press past Bold Baby. Sixteenth of a mile to the finish. Bold Baby leads. Snow Lake going on by. Snow Lake has won it a length and a quarter to Bold Baby Tis Race Day and Fleeting Amber. Away and running. Nice even break. Bell of the South was the first one to ping on top. GW's girl is showing good early toe. And each peach pear plum came away in third. No highs a hustling fourth. And hey, look me over is wide and grabs a share of third. Dynamite and Diamonds is trying to squeeze on through in the two path. Plinko chips in front of one, and backseat romance just passed that rival for that seventh place position. Three furlongs to go, and the overwhelming favorite, Bell of the South, the leader, and is on cruise control right now, leads by a length and a half. GW's girl is emerging from out of the crowd in second. Each peach pear plum is starting to rev up on the far outside. These are the three as they turn for home. Bell of the South still kicks by two. GW's girl is running a cheeky race and is getting closer to the heavy favorite. Up the rail dynamite and diamonds is closing in here comes gw's girl inhaling the favorite at nine to one gw's girl has scored the winning run over bell of the south dynamite and diamonds and then came each peach set away and running great speed today from late frost and malibu beauty they break one two lady liberty bell the long shot now grabs a share of second and devil pays in gold is on hold but is going to have a wide trip down the back of the track so the top three are the first three favorites and it's late frost who leads the charge but devil pays in gold and malibu beauty take the fight to her and lady liberty bells a ground saving fourth just great is off the fence in fifth and ladro de Fici is last of all three and a half for long to go and devil pays in gold takes the fight to late frost around the one and only turn malibu beauty looking for four consecutive wins is two lengths off the speed then it's lady liberty bell just great second last and ladro de vici was never near here's the quarter pole and it's a three-pronged attack late frost trying to stand her ground a devil pays in gold malibu beauty now finally hits her best stride as they turn for home late frost is running a massive race today and leads by two expanding lanes Devil Pays and Gold loom 
thinned and flattened out. Lady Liberty Bell Cold closes into the frame at 30 to 1 with Malibu Beauty, who never threatened today. Late Frost has just won the tax free shopping distaff to beat Lady Liberty Bell, Devil Pays in Gold, and Malibu Beauty. Away and running. Slow to go is Fabulous Candy. Good speed from Bows and O's today. Right next door, Ziffy Bug rides the rail. And Nami gets closer too, so those are the first three as they settle down. A distant fourth is Something Silly who rides the rail with Lady Lancer tracking on the outside. And the next pair is Fabulous Candy and Joy's Pride. So it's a three-pronged battle as they race down to the four for a long point. Up the inside, Ziffy Bug has a nose in front of Nami. He's going to test this rival every step of the way and Bows and O's is right there gliding up to the both of them. There's another zip code away. Back to Fabulous Candy who now tries to grab fourth in front of Lady Lancer and riding the rail is something silly and last of all is Joy's Pride. Around the bend with a quarter pull in sight. Nami takes control of the race but Bows and O's is breathing down her neck in second. Siffy Bug comes under the whip and up the inside something silly closes in with Fabulous Candy. They turn to the top of the stretch where Nami calls the shots and leads by a length and a half. Siffy Bug battles back. So does Bows and O's. And late on the scene on the far outside is Joy's Pride. The leader Nami is huffing and puffing but still holding on. Here comes Fabulous Candy with a late charge. Fabulous Candy trying to get past Lady Lancer. Fabulous Candy in the final jump. There's a photo for the rest between Joy's Pride, Lady Lancer, and Nami. There's only one